Hey guys, so I'm super super excited because I have a Sephora and Ulta haul for you guys to see today. Yay! Um, basically, I started out by going to Ulta and then I made a Sephora online order because I just didn't feel like traveling to the Sephora and I had a few things to pick up. Um, a lot of this is for my professional kit because I had to replenish some things. I had to get some new things I was really interested in and stuff like that. But there's a few goodies for me. So uh, let's dive in. I'm going to start with Ulta just because that's the first place I went. Look at this. That's a bag of goodness right there. So the first thing I picked up and that I'm super, super excited about is the Lorac Pro Contour Palette and Pro Contour Brush. Um, I am actually a little hesitant on this now just because I've been, I'm doing that thing a lot, aren't I? Stop it. Anyway, so I'm kind of hesitant. I don't know if I should actually return this and go get the Kat Von D contour palette from Sephora because a lot of people who have been reviewing that in the Anastasia, the Anastasia palette and this palette have been raking this one kind of on the lower side just because I guess it's too powdery and it's not as good as the others. I want to know in the comments below, is this one worth keeping? Before I even do anything with it, before I even give it a try, I mean I'm still going to give it a try because I've really been wanting to, but what do you guys think? If you guys have the different palettes or you have one or the other, let me know your opinions because I don't want to mess around with something that's $45. I gotta say though, I really like that it comes with this brush. I mean, that's a pretty good brush and the fact that for $45 you're getting both of those things is actually a pretty good deal. Next I got a couple brushes. I got the Deluxe Fan Brush from EcoTools. This, um, I have a per one in my personal collection. If you've seen some of my videos, I want to get one for my kit because I like it so much. And I also got a full eyeshadow brush because I wanted something that is kind of dense, kind of fluffy. Not really a blending brush, but a little more than just a, tr a traditional shader. And I thought this would do the trick. I don't know about you, but I love these NYX HD concealers. So I got some more. Um, these are in the shades CW04, CW06, CW07, and CW08. Here they are in that order. And one falls. Why not? Just got kind of... I need to stop holding them like that. I kind of just got a range of shades because I already have a few other shades in my kit. But now I feel like I have the complete array of those concealers because they're amazing. Also from NYX, I just got this dark kind of chocolate brown eyeliner. I love these eyeliners. They're about $8 or $9, and they're just as good as the Urban Decay ones that are like $18, $19, $20. So, yeah. I also got two IT products. Um, I got the Brow Power, the Universal Taupe Brow Power. This is the one that I use in my personal collection, and I love it. It's just an amazing brow pencil can adjust to your shade of eyebrow it looks like real hair and it's just it's amazing so I got that and then specifically because there was a deal where you get freebies if you spend I think it was 45 or more I got this concealer actually to try for myself it's the bye bye under eye um, and this is in the color neutral medium because Honestly, the light was a little bit too light in my opinion, so we're going to give this a go. Um, hope it's worth it because that was $24 and I typically don't spend that pretty easily on myself. Um, but because of spending over that amount, I got this little Discover It kit. Um, and it actually has, I laughed when I got this home because I'm like, oh, I should have got something else then. It has the neutral medium sample size in here of the concealer. So then I was thinking, oh, maybe I should go and exchange it for something I don't have. But then, I mean, this is itty bitty. It's a little baby size. Look at that. A little baby size. It does look like it'll work for me though. But yeah, so I got that in the kit. I also got Hello Lashes, which is a little mascara sample and another brow power so I'm happy about that because I just I love it um oh and I guess a tiny itsy bitsy medium shade CC cream sample so there you go and I also had a coupon I got 
before a few days before I went in the mail for um, a sample size or deluxe sample size of their real benefit mascara so I picked that up as well so overall really productive Ulta haul I think um, I'm just kind of questioning my choice of the Lorac Pro contour palette so again let me know in the comments what your guys opinion is of all those different palettes now it's on to Sephora so this actually isn't nearly as much I just got a few things from Sephora because I looked at it Ulta but still, you know, I had to combine Ulta and Sephora in the same video. <laughs> so, first thing I got is the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick. I got this in the color Aisha. Oh my goodness. So my girl Evie, here on YouTube, I'm going to put her name in the description box and all that stuff. I'm going to link her below. She's amazing, and she actually lives in Connecticut, so we've met in real life, and we want to collab someday. I hope sometime soon, girl. Let's we got to get talking on that more. But um, anyway, she does Sephora haul, and she got this liquid lipstick, and I just loved it on her. And I'm like, you know what? I'm getting adventurous, so let's give it a try. It is this purple shade purple would did you guys ever imagine i'd wear purple like this i'm gonna try i'm like totally into like on instagram and stuff like the jeffree star lipsticks and lime crime and color pop and all that stuff i want to just do like a huge lip haul lipstick lip gloss all that kind of stuff but i got i don't got money like that but anyways because <laughs> also don't be fooled most of this I paid for with earnings from my makeup business because it's going to replenish stuff in my makeup kit. I only got like three things for myself, I think. But anyways, that's besides the point. So, your girl got some purple lipstick, so look out for future videos. This is also for my kit. Let me tell you, I went to multiple Sephora's and it was sold out. But it never sold out online, so it's the... Becca Jaclyn Hill highlighter. It's the limited edition one. And this is just, oh my god, it's amazingness. And that's going right in my kit. And it's it's just going to be amazingness. That's all. So I even love the packaging. Like, look at how pretty that is. Come on. Then, in this beat up old box right here, because it was falling apart when I got it in the mail, was the Tarte Maracuja Sea Brightener Eye Treatment, which is on my bathroom vanity right now, but it's a little round tub of eye cream. Nothing fancy, but so far I think it's really nice. I've used it the past week, I think, since I've had it. And it's hydrating, and it brightens up the under eye area a little bit, and I like it. I just want to try a new eye cream, so there you go. Then I had a mobile coupon for a deluxe size Dr. Brandt pore dermabrasion, pore perfecting exfoliator, because I had a little one in a black tube from Ipsy for a while, and I really liked that, so I was like, okay, let me get some of that. Then you get the three samples online. There was um, a cologne sample with this postcard, but it was like manner and oranges or something I don't like, but I literally got this sample for the postcard because I have another one up on my wall because I just, I think they look really cool. Then I got this Cora's Greek Yogurt foaming cream cleanser and this one's the most exciting sample to me is the Tarte Maracuja creaseless concealer samples so now I can see like what shade I am and how that does so that is my Sephora and Ulta haul I hope you guys enjoyed it thumbs this video up if you did don't forget to comment about those contouring palettes oh that's cute look at that purple finger and I will see you in my next video bye